are joined with Craig Reid, Commercial Director for Rovo. Hi Craig. So what brings you to Subsea Expo this year? Uh, just here to support the, the event. We're always keen to support the event. Um, and we've, uh, we've recently expanded uh, as a company both geographically and fleet size over the last uh, sort of four or five months. So we're keen to stay here and, and just explain a lot to the client. There's been a lot of press releases out, so we're, we're keen to just engage with the, the clients and, and talk them through some of those changes. And can you tell us about any products or services that you're going to be showcasing at the event? Yeah, so we've got we've got one of our um, Shell and HDs here. We're a leading provider in subsea robotics. This is one of the, the core assets in our fleet. We've got 51 assets from small electric RVs up to heavy duty uh, construction work class uh, systems. And we've also got our simulator here, which is a fundamental part of our business where we train a lot of our operators and our, our junior members of staff as they come up through the, the graduate scheme or the modern apprentices. And at the moment, we're seeing a bit of an increased confidence in the industry. What sort of impact is that having for you and for Robot? It's a funny one for us, that one, actually, because we've we've kind of bucked the trend over the, the last 12 to 18 months in that uh, we had, a, we had a, a very aggressive strategic approach to, to grow the business, uh, both geographically and fleet, as I touched on earlier. And there was a couple of opportunities that came to pass that we were able to exploit both of those strategies. Um, so we've actively done that, even though the market, you know, whilst we do see the market recover and it's still quite tight at the minute, um, we're seeing more activity in, in uh, offshore renewables, which is a core part of our, our business as well. We're diversified probably 50-50 between oil and gas and, and offshore renewables. So we're seeing more of a spike in, in some of the offshore renewables. We are seeing the, the oil and gas recovering, uh, but really the, the acquisitions that we've made and the growth that we're, we're going through at the minute is partly uh, getting us ready to exploit the, the market as it does bounce back in, in 19. Great, thanks for joining us today and good luck with the rest of the show. Thanks very much, thank you.